welcome student in last session we have discussed about the diffraction types of diffraction fresnel diffraction fronover diffraction and fronover diffraction due to a single slit in that diffraction we have to find out the distances of minima and maxima from the central bright point let us obtain that distances of the end dark fringe and end bright fringe from the central bright fringe okay therefore in last section we have obtained the expression for path differences of end dark fringe and end bright fringe that is minima and maxima that equations are given by a sin theta is equal to the n lamp okay this is for minima or n dark fringe next is a sin theta is equal to the 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 these are nothing but a part difference between the extreme rays at the position of n dark fringe and n bright fringe okay in practical case the distance capital d is very very greater than a therefore we can say that the sin theta is nearly equal to the theta is equal to the y upon capital d we get this equation फॉर्मूला डिफ्रैक्शन डू टू ए सिंगल स्लिट फिर एक डायग्राम में उधर अपन की एक्सप्रेशन ले ले ला है साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू द थीटा इज इक्वल टू द वाई अपॉन डी बिकॉज़ डी इज वेरी वेरी मच ग्रेटर देन द ए ओके पुट दिस सब्स्टिट्यूशन इन अबव इक्वेशन देयरफॉर वी गेट ए साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू द थीटा देयरफॉर ए थीटा इज इक्वल टू द एन इनटू द लैम्डा ओके दे a theta is equal to the n lambda now we have to put the value of theta therefore a y n d upon capital d is equal to the n lambda here y n d is nothing but a distance of the dark fringe from the central bright fringe okay from this equation what is the value of y n d y n d is equal to the n lambda d upon a okay therefore we get the equation y n d is equal to the y n d means distance of the dark fringe from the central bright fringe is equal to the n lambda d upon a which is equal to the n into the w therefore this is nothing but a y n d is equal to the n w we get this equation where w is nothing but a fringe width or band width for the dark band it is equal to the lambda d upon a similarly if we if we put this substitution in this equation a sin theta is equal to the 2n plus 1 Into the lambda by two, we get y n d. That is why n b is equal to the two n plus one. Yes, lambda d upon twice a. Okay, therefore we get y n b is equal to the two n plus one upon two. Lambda d upon a is nothing but a. Yes, it is equal to the W. This is the equation of distance, or this is the equation of maxima from the central bright fringe. Therefore, y n d is equal to the n lambda d upon a. This is the distance of minima from the central bright fringe, and y n b is equal to the 2 n plus 1 upon 2 into w it is the distance of n bright fringe from the central bright fringe these distances are important okay and w is nothing but a fringe width or it is also called as a band width 
Now the width of the central bright fringe. Width of the central bright fringe. Width of the central bright fringe is given by the equation WC. WC for the central bright fringe. You know that in diffraction pattern there is a central maxima and on the both the sides there are the minima and the maxima. Okay, this. We get this diffraction pattern. This is the central maxima. This is the first minima. This is the first maxima. This is the first minima. Okay. The distance between the center of the first dark fringe on the both the sides. That distance is called as a width of the central bright fringe. Therefore, we can say that this distance is W, this distance is W, therefore WC and this total distance is WC, therefore WC is equal to the twice of W, W is the fringe width, therefore WC is equal to the twice of lambda D upon A, this is the equation of width of central bright fringe. Okay? This is all about the distances of minima, maxima, width of the central bright fringe. Let us discuss the distinguish between YDS interference pattern diffraction pattern. Okay, overall, interference and diffraction for the Kai Furoka hai, to apply like ya topic mode pahitsai. Okay, therefore, YDS means games double slit experiment interference pattern and this is the single slit diffraction pattern. Okay. You know that in YDS there are the two slits. Therefore, the separation between the two slits is nearly the MM. Okay. In this case, it is the width of the single slit is less than the 1 MM. Here the separation between the two slits is nearly the 1 MM. Here the Width of the slit is less than the 1 mm. This is the first point. Second point is the width of central bright fringe and bright fringe are equal. Here the width of central bright fringe is maximum and it is twice that of the all other the bright fringe. This is the second point. Okay. Now third point, third point of course this is related as a part difference related as a part difference for the bright brands and part difference for the dark brands. In the case of YDS interference pattern, what is the part difference for the bright band? Yes, part difference for the bright brand is nothing but a yes, part difference is equal to N lambda. Here part difference is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 for bright band. Now what is the phase difference? Phase difference is equal to the what is phase difference? n into 2 lambda. Here phase difference is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda h value 2 pi sorry here 2 pi upon 2 this is for the bright band so we will accept the bright band g part difference lens are the bright band is phase difference lens are the fifth point the part difference for the dark band is equal to the s what is the part difference for dark band 
in the interference pattern it is 2n minus 1 lambda by 2. Here what is the part difference? Part difference for the bright, uh, dark band or minima it is equal to the m into lambda. Similarly, 6 point phase difference for the dark band. Phase difference for the dark band is equal to the 2n minus 1 lambda z theta 2 pi upon 2. Similarly, here phase difference is equal to the n into 2 pi. In nth double slit experiment, there is a good contrast between the bright fringe and the dark fringe. Here is the poor contrast between the dark fringe and the bright fringe. These are the main distinguishable points between the YDS and the single slit diffraction pattern. Let us discuss the real life criteria. Let us define what do you mean by resolving power. Resolving power is the ability of an optical instrument to separate or to resolve a small or adjacent images is called as a resolving power of an optical instrument. Optical instrument that may be the our eye because it consists of the lens it consists of the microscope, it may be the telescope also. Okay, therefore, resolving power is the ability of an optical instrument to separate a small or closely adjacent images is called as a resolving power. Okay, let us take one example. If your friends are showing the two fingers such as like this with the sign from a distance above 50 meter then you will not able to distinguish these are the two points but if the distance is less than 10 meter then you can easily point out that they are the these are the two fingers okay it is laksha Therefore, resolving power of an optical instrument depends upon the objective of the lens. Diameter of that lens. Also, it depends upon the wavelength of the light used. This resolving power of an optical instrument is related with the visual angle and therefore, physics it is defined as the minimum visual angle between the two objects that can be resolved by an optical instrument is called as a limit of resolution. Which is the object with the minimum distance. The minimum distance is the limit of resolution. Therefore, that minimum distance or that visual angle between the two objects that can be resolved by an optical instrument is called as a limit of resolution and the reciprocal of limit of resolution is called as a resolving power. It is denoted by letter capital R, R for the resolving power. Now, Rayleigh criteria. What is the Rayleigh criteria? Rayleigh is the name of the scientist. If you have to find the numerical value of resolving power of an optical instrument such as eye and microscope, telescope, then we have to use this Rayleigh criteria. According to the Rayleigh criteria, what is the just resolved, well resolved and the unresolved? There are the three cases. Atas upon pahilele example sahe. Don't fingers have to be 50 distance person by the tension to the diffraction pattern. To tomorrow, you have to do this. This is unresolved. Just as a distance away, that is tomorrow, that you don't object. 
त्याला दिसणार आहे या दिस इज जस्ट रिझॉल्व आणि आणखी जवळ आल्यानंतर तुम्हाला त्या दोन ऑब्जेक्टची जी काही इमेज आहे ती काय दिसणार आहे वेल रिझॉल्व दिसणार आहे मीन्स दिस इज द अनरिझॉल्व दिस इज जस्ट रिझॉल्व अँड दिस इज द वेल रिझॉल्व आणि तेच रिलॅक्स क्रायटेरियाने सांगितलेलं आहे ओके देर फॉर द अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिलॅक्स क्रायटेरिया द टू ऑब्जेक्ट आर सेट टू बी जस्ट रिझॉल्व इफ द सेंट्रल मॅक्झिम ऑफ द डिफ्रॅक्शन पॅटर्न ऑफ द फर्स्ट सोर्स इज कोइन्साइड विथ द डिफ्रॅक्शन पॅटर्न ऑफ द मिनिमा ऑफ द सेकंड सोर्स जस्ट रिझॉल्व ही केस केव्हा असणार आहे की ज्या वेळेस द टू ऑब्जेक्ट आर सेट टू बी जस्ट रिझॉल्व व्हेन द सेंट्रल मॅक्झिम ऑफ द फर्स्ट सोर्स देर फॉर दिस इज द सेंट्रल मॅक्झिम ऑफ द फर्स्ट सोर्स दिस इज द सेंट्रल मॅक्झिम ऑफ द फर्स्ट सोर्स अँड द फर्स्ट मिनिम ऑफ द सेकंड डिफ्रॅक्शन सोर्स कोइन्साइड पाय तो कोइन्साइड झालेला आहे हा तशाच आहे फर्स्ट सोर्सचा मॅक्झिम आहे आणि दुसऱ्या सोर्सचा हा काय आहे मिनिम आहे हा सेंट्रल मॅक्झिम आणि दुसऱ्या सोर्सचा मिनिम जिथं कोइन्साइड होणार आहे त्यावेळेस त्या केसला काय म्हणायचंय त्या दोन ऑब्जेक्ट ह्या काय असणार आहे जस्ट रिझॉल्व असणार आहे तेच जर डिस्टन्स हे ग्रेटर असेल तर त्या केसमध्ये काय असणार आहे वी गेट द वेल रिझॉल्व केस ओके अँड हिअर इज द अनरिझॉल्व केस देर फोर दॅट डिस्टन्स इज द लेस दॅन द सेंट्रल मॅक्झिम ऑफ द टू डिफ्रॅक्शन पॅटर्न ओके दिस इज द रिलॅक्स क्रायटेरिया ओके लेटेस्ट ऑफ युअर